Hi everybody, this is Steve with uh, fuelit.biz or uh, you can find us at www.steveaz.com and today I'm going to install a Sage 2 fuel kit. Uh, one of the most common questions I get is if this is plug and play and how hard it is to install. So I'm going to show you. This is a 135i convertible so your seat configuration may be a little bit different but they still all release pretty much the same and the fuel tank uh, access points in the same spot. So you just pull up and pull that out of the way. For me I have a nice little flap here. Yours probably may be different if you're a 335 or so. I've seen a couple different configurations. Today I have a 10 millimeter driver, tweaker screwdriver, one of our fuel ring removal tools. Put this here so that out of it. And this is a stage two uh, fuel kit that we're going to be installing. And, the top. and a couple of towels to clean up our mess and so on. So start by removing these 10 millimeter nuts. So real quick while I'm doing this, uh, this fuel pump flows tw about twice as much as stock and this pump is also E85 certified. Um, these are our, I've staged this a little bit so you'll notice when I open this up it's lit so I just did that so you can see better. But here's our fuel sensor wires, you just push in on the sides on these, pull straight up. And then this is a vent line, both of these are vent lines, they should not have fuel in them so you don't need to worry about that. Push in on the button on the side here, pull straight up. These are the pump power wires, same thing, push in on the sides, pull straight up. Tuck that out of the way. Vent line, two buttons on the side, push in on those buttons, and pull straight up. Again, our fuel ring removal tool, push this on, and turn counterclockwise. To get a loose, you just spin it. Okay. This is spring loaded, so this may pop up. Mine's in there fairly tight, so just go ahead and pull this back. And move it like so. Pull this up. And then if you have enough room, you might, you can see this. This is a large vent line, vent to, to release this. You can push in on the back side and push down on it. If it doesn't, if you don't have access to push in on the back side right here, you can take a tweaker screwdriver and you can work these back. And you have to just push this back a little bit, push the other side back, and it's a little bit of a juggling act, and then you can pull it out. I'm going to push it back in for installation. I have another video that shows that, so if you need that, look for that on our website. It's, uh, it's with every fuel kit. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect these power wires. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Just take the tweaker screwdriver, kind of turn it sideways in there. There's a button on the side here. Push in on that button. Push in on the button. Like so, and then I just go like so. Yeah. On this, you don't even really have to remove these because you can pull the whole assembly out together. I'm just kind of showing you how to do it in case you find that you need to. Um, there's a tether that holds this together if yours is stock. So looking in here, and hopefully you can see in here now, there is, I'll show you how this is done here. Okay, so there is a fuel line. And then there's two return lines. These two return lines, it doesn't matter what order you put them in. One is for returning fuel from the driver's side of the tank. The other is, from, is for returning fuel from the regulator. So you can just pop these loose. them out of the way. On the fuel line, this far end of it, there's a green button right here. Yours may be a different color, but same thing. Just push in on that line and then push down on the pump. Okay. So all we have to do is pull the pump simply out. 
there's a fuel float on here that's on this side right here. So as we pull it up and out of the way, up, kind of pitch it sideways a little bit here like this, then we can get past the pump. Now, of course, I do mine with as little of fuel in there as possible. Still going to have some in the bucket, so take it, turn it, pour it back in there. Okay. Take a towel, kind of wrap everything up here, and just set it outside the car. So this was our fuel line. This was the button I was talking about. These were the fuel return lines that flow into the bucket. Here's the vent tube. Give me a little better view there. So now we're going to go ahead and install the stage two bucket. Here's the bucket. And this is the fuel sense level float line. Power wires. So same thing. Watch for that float. Set it in the tank. Go ahead and reach in there and connect your two return lines. Take your fuel line and just pop it in, make sure it locks in place. Okay. Now all we have left to do is put the top hat on. There's two guides here. You can see one of them here, one on this side. So take this, take these two, put them, line them up. Plug in your fuel float sensor connector, your fuel pump power wires. Make sure that those uh, guides are in there. And then after they're in there, go ahead and pop on your large vent tube. It's rotated around. I want you to catch it on the edge of the tank there and you're sitting in there. And just kind of juggle that in there. Like so. Push that all the way in. Push that all the way down. Take our ring. Slide it in here. Sometimes you have to push in the middle if that spring's pushing up. Again, make sure this is seated properly. You don't want a vent line. And make sure that there weren't any float wires caught in there. That's a common mistake. People end up with uh, A, if you have a float wire cut in, caught in there, you will, when you fill your tank, it'll overflow and you'll see fuel falling on the ground. Or B, your um, emissions. You'll get a code for your emissions after a little while. So go ahead and open this up. Make sure you get this skin tight. So, and go ahead and put our large vent line on. Put our small vent line on. Look up our float sensor wires. And our pump power wires. Put these down, make sure they're out of the way. Cover 
back over. Put your seat in place. Push down, push down, push down, push down. That's it. That's it. That was the installation of our Stage 2 E85 kit. Uh, again, you can find us at fuelit.biz or steveaz.com. Thanks again.